Hey guys, Chris. Starting up a new channel, Out on the Ridge. It's going to be a YouTube channel that's going to cover anything from sawmills, cattle, maybe a few pigs, anything outdoors, how to's, things such as that. We're fixing to build a shop out on the new land place, and we're going to probably have plenty of uh, how to's involving that lights, flooring, walls, electrical, things of that nature. Today, though, we're going to cover a new sawmill that I've picked up. It is a Range Road. It's a RR5022. Range Road, RR5022. It is 10 foot, 4 long. Cuts 22 inch wide logs. And so far, it does pretty good. We set it up and run a few things with it. And um, used it about two hours. Just kind of getting to know it and everything. But I just wanted to throw this video up here and get y'all a, a review on it, an initial review. And in case you're looking, maybe you could use this to help make your decision. We're very happy with it. Wasn't looking for nothing high, high end. Um, it would come in under three thousand dollars which is you know obviously consumer friendly if you're just doing it on a at the house type budget just a, not trying to do it for the public or anything but honestly i think you could make money with this thing um you know like that so let me see if i can turn this camera around and we will get started four inches you can get an extension to go up to I think 16 I don't have the book with me right now so some of these details may be incorrect but I do not think they will be but again a range road RR so here's some of the lumber that we've got a bunch down here on a Sunday mine land A lot of cedar that we're trying to cut. Well, let's go over this again. Like I said, it's a Range Rover RR 5022. And the track is very, very solid. Very well put together. It is um, easy to level. Um, we're going to build a new platform for this one at some point. But it has these feet for your log. It's got a little thing there that you can do that. You can leave it sitting up like that if you need to. <clears throat> Move it around. Tighten it up the whole nine yards. Comes with two of those. The center section there where the blade is is 22 inches wide. And um, you might could squeeze another inch in there. I probably wouldn't recommend it, but... So coming around this side is basically your command post, if you will. Your blade obviously is inside this, which is nice. It's um, actually pretty pretty heavy duty. This is your tensioner for your blade. Um, one of the first mods I'm gonna probably do is, is, is replace this with just a bigger one. Probably get a five gallon um, gas tank maybe to go up there. And this is your bar, very sturdy. Your um, fuel for your for your motor. This is your adjustments. It's just simply, again, very similar to the Woodland Mills Frontiers and things of that nature, but just up and down, whichever wherever you want to put it. And you can look right here. It's got a uh, measuring device right there that tells you where you are, and then you can just kick that back, pop it into place, and um, Go. So the motor that we went with was the 301 cc gasoline engine. Um, so far, I've been very happy with it. It uh, runs very well. 
sounds real good. Things have enough power for what we're wanting to do. And um, they do have other options on the motors. Um, this was the this was the lowest end because I wanted to get one and learn how to use one and see if it's something that I would actually work with and, and utilize to maximize the benefit of having it. And so far, I believe I'm going to. So, but the motors, you can, you'll look down in there. It's, it's bolted on to a nice, heavy duty looking plate. So if you ever had any issues or anything, you know, it's, uh, it would be simple to change out. You can see down in there, but it's, it's got a clutch on it that's mounted. Um, and then it's got the bolts down at the bottom and that's basically it. So it's got the water hoses that come down and go down to the bottom down there and drip on the blade to keep it cool. During the winter, we're going to run windshield antifreeze, uh, windshield cleaner with antifreeze in it. Um, I believe that's going to keep it from freezing up and stuff. So, like I said, you would just take this and adjust the way you want, and then you would just go down through here. <clears throat> Make a good cut on your log, the diameter that you want or the, the, the height that you want. And then just come out here. Get that back out. Bring it up a little bit if you, you know, move, remove your thing if you wanted. Move it up a little bit. Bring her back. Whoops. There you go. That's how, that's how you operate it. Like I said, it's, it's, the low end of sawmills. I believe it is uh, come to come created very nicely, very easy to put together. Um, didn't take very long at all. Um, and we just got her out here, got her leveled up, and have been cutting on it. Like I said, we're going to build a better base for it at some point. But until then, this this is working so far. But we wanna we're gonna get it kind of a permanent home at some point. But again, that's your Range Road RR5022. So and there's the pigs. Well, I appreciate you spending a little time with me today. And um, watch out for us. We're gonna start putting up some good videos and everything. Do that like, subscribe, and all that. And um, stay tuned. Thank you.